if you knew you were, if you knew you were skydiving and it was like wormhole here would you go you just don't know where it goes yeah would you go in Ooh. you're like fuck it dude this life was fun but would Ooh. you go it depends on how old i am right oh, now today tomorrow dang, like, let's fuck go no, no yeah no, see, no. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pine Park After Dark. We're at episode 14 right now, man. I'm your host, Eric Khan. I got Secret Sesh Tim right next what to up? me. Let's go. Episode 14. Holy shit. Yeah, we're running through them, man. It's pretty crazy. That's I was just thinking about that. Once a week, a little three months, quarter of a year. That's pretty quick, dude. That's pretty chill, man. No, man. It's just, it's just, Josef was making it all chill and easy, honestly, man. He's the one who makes it all possible. You don't see him. He's behind the camera, though, and he's making it fucking possible. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh, secret, uh, secret sesh. Tim, you've been up to some uh, secret sesh things, man. Fucking busy as hell, I bet. Man, man, oh man. Plan yes. two events. Is, is it? Is that like not a first? But I mean, you don't really plan two events back to back like this very often. No, right? Not, it's usually not, like not once often. A month. So um, we used to do like uh, when we were throwing Michigan events. It mm-hmm. was even crazier. So we would throw a Michigan event Saturday night and then fly back to LA and do it on Sunday night. Why? And I would always legit get sick because I suck at flying and traveling. Yeah, and yeah. So I would always get sick on like after the cab ride or the Uber from LAX to to the three 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 the nightclub. You I just would, go straight to the sesh. Yeah, from yeah. Because we got to set it up. Yeah, and I feel <laughs> so sick, dude. Oh, it was the worst. But Damn. I love it. You know, it's like you're throwing weed events. Is it really yeah, that bad? For sure. How was uh, how are the Michigan events? Like how they were how, dope. Are, how long did that go on for? I didn't even know. Um, was thing. I want to say like six months. We threw them regularly. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit longer. Um, right. But shout out to Vehicle City Social. Um, it was in a great time. Sapo yeah. out there. He holds yeah. it down for the for the mitten. Nice. They have a lot of like uh they're they're like a uh, cannabis community is massive. Yeah, actually. they're in tune. That's what I've learned too from my fans. And were you, were you in Detroit? Or was that? Um, no, I was actually I was in Flint. Oh, so, so we weren't drinking the water, but we were smoking the weed. All right, hey, uh, man, so we were in weed? Flint. Um, great weed, bro. Wow. The the, the culture there, the community it. there, just good people, dude. Like, yeah, I like I love not like I love the mitten. Like, like the yeah. people there are tremendous. The weeds fire cold as shit that's the only thing sure. i was like holy shit it's really you did cold it during the winter time oh blizzards oh hell and, and what, what's crazy <laughs> is like the fucking uh the community out there don't give a fuck bro there was in a line and they'll like, come in like, like a foot of snow and park like a foot of like snow be smoking dude. and shit yeah, it's crazy that's awesome crazy. that is awesome damn i didn't know michigan just like had right i do know it's head like that but like i know hash bash and everything is super have you ever been hash no bash? but damn that's that's always looks so much fun yeah holy shit it, it always looks, it looks like, like a, a good, good time. ass fucking yeah. time. We have October 15th, which is tomorrow. I think this comes out. Yeah, oh, tomorrow. Shit. Oh, so yeah. This comes out tomorrow. In LA. In LA. You'll be there. Yeah. Session. Um, Pine Park Rosin, I think, will be there via Turp Mansion. Nice. Um, nice. So you always definitely get you some, some Pine Park. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But then we're flying two weeks after that and going to New York for our first ever New York event. First ever. First Not ever even New York like event. just a little <clears throat> pop up here and there. But nope, never done New York. Wow. Super excited about it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, fuck man. It's been, it's been a long time coming. Like New York. Yeah. Is, New York's is, got a huge smoking population. I feel like same thing with like Michigan. I mean, like we were just talking about, it. I mean, New York there's just states huge. out there where it's just people just love smoking that fucking gas. Yep. The facts. <laughs> and, and the East coast has got just good weed, you yeah. know, like, like Michigan's got good stuff, the Midwest, mm-hmm. but the East coast, they've got great brands where we're, we're, we're bringing some multi-state uh, brands, but then Ooh. we're also bringing New York brands. Yeah. You know, we're working direct with a few brands out there. Shout out to Zizzle. Um, they've got some amazing uh indoor pre rolls nice, out there. Not nice. not some swag trim yeah. West Coast bullshit pre rolls <laughs> like we got out here. But some good stuff. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I was uh, fortunate enough to try some. And uh I li- I like what I see, man. I wanna see the New York style of event. I don't wanna just say Hey, we're gonna throw the same California secret sesh everywhere. Right, right. So let's see what well, New York style we get. What does that entail? What do you think the the, the style <clears throat> difference is? Um, so I think every every like cannabis community or cannabis culture is a little bit different, right? So West Coast, you know, we we kind of have our vibe um just set in stone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um East Coast, we want to involve that that East Coast culture. So we mm. want to have artists that are from New York. Um, I can't announce it yet. But we do have a special Ooh. music performance, oh, um, born nice. and raised in New York, and they will be performing, uh, hitting the stage. We actually have two New York artists, one nice. DJ and then one artist. We're going to announce them soon. Um, but we want to bring that New York culture there. We want to make sure New York is represented and it's yeah. not just 
you know, an LA event in New right. York. Like almost like a culture vulture, like here, I'm just going to, I'm trying to like. I, that's the last thing, you know, and, right. and, and, and I feel like, like if, like if, if I was in New York, right. Mm -hmm. And I was like throwing events or if I was a cannabis brand and then I saw Secret Sesh, a big West Coast brand come over here and try to like stomp on my ground. I'd right. Like, oh, fucking guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't want those feelings. So right. if you're in New York, come party, come hang out. If you got a brand out there, hit us up. We'd love to get you involved. Um, cause you guys are building the culture out there. We just mm. want to come party and, and put you guys on a pedestal. That's Hell all. yeah. Just from what it's uh, been so far, do you think it's going to be a regular thing? Like, do you fuck with it? Like how it's set up so far? In New York? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah, hundred percent. We'll nice. be there. I, I would say like, oh man, 2023. Right now with the the team right now, we, we have six states and 48 events on, Ooh, on the calendar. Already just booked. Dang. I'm over here looking at that shit like, y'all sure y'all want to do that? events. That's, that's damn near one a week. We used to do it one a week. See? We used to do it one a week. So that's why I was like, damn, all right. When they told me, I was like, that's fucking crazy. What are you guys talking about? And then they were like, you know, you used to throw one a week, right? And I was like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> How so long I did was it one a week for? Like years? Like or? four years. Wow. Yeah, we, we, once we got the nightclub, like mm. it was, it was fucking on. Nice. Like, yeah, nice. we got the nightclub, it was on. Hell yeah. That's awesome, man. Speaking of fucking uh, some fun stuff though. Yo ass went back to Vegas again. Say it, man. What the fuck? How often <laughs> do you do you have a, like an apartment there? Nah, I don't. I don't. It was just uh, gotta go. One of those little n notifications it was like, hey, you got special rates this weekend, super <laughs> cheap. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> they're like, yo, come, come gamble. Yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> stupidly cheap, and I was like, man, it's like, why not? Like, what else am I gonna? And do? And was that the Cosmo? Going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was like, man, just chilling. Uh, I brought a homegirl out there. We were just vibing. It was a it was a good time. Nice. Yeah. Vegas is just a good old time. I hang out with my boy Luke, uh Gorilla Radio Smoke Shop out there. Just fucking cool. always yeah, man. Just got a new uh got a new bowl as well. New slide. Okay. Got some new uh oh I got a funnel. That's like I've been wanting one of these for fucking years. It's a funnel. Yeah, so it's like one of the um, it's like a ten millimeter funnel and it's just you attach it and it's just so you can put water in it really easily. It's like a really big glass. Like funnel, literally. Oh, like like a it's not a nail or something. No, thought, no, I, it's just like a literal I, funnel for so it's I easier thought, to pour water in. I thought, I thought it was like it's a cool awesome. name, you know, like oh, like no. that other thing, uh, like the control, the control tower. tower. Yeah, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. this is some cool type of nail. <laughs> it's no. shaped like this. You drop your wax in, right? And it fucking <laughs> swirls us in a certain way. Nah, for, just literally for filling water. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, just makes it really fucking easy. And if it's in the fourteens, if it's how in much does the funnel cost? It was only like twenty bucks. Dude, shout out to that guy, whoever made that. Dude, I love people that just make shit and make money. That's like what that. I'm like, saying, right? Like, nah, it's, just like for the, it's like for the people, you know? You fucking need this. Yeah, right? so, That's what I'm saying. Because I probably would have paid like 50 for it. Huh? You got uh, any any shows, any good food? What, what oh, was, dude, what I doing? went to um, a show for one of my first times. I went to uh, oh. Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> like the little Take mushrooms? Oh, no, I wish. I didn't <laughs> even know what kind of, bro. So this girl Come bought me. Th that's Eric. what I'm saying. So this Eric. girl bought me the tickets for him, right? And she's like, I'm going to take you to your first show or whatever. Love and it. I was Shout like, out to her. yeah, yeah. And I was like, how would you describe the show? Like, what am I going to be in for? And she was like, I can't describe it. And I was like, nah, like I, I need to be in for something because like, I need to know how, I'm like what mindset. Am I going to be high? Am I going to be tripping on do you know like, what whatever? Show, do you know which show it was? It was the uh, O. I've like seen the, that. The water show. Yeah. That's yeah. That shit was sick. Freak show bro. right there. That shit, bro. That's what I'm you saying. You want to be on drugs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, bro. The, <laughs> I've watched that on mushrooms before. That's a fucking freaky show. If That's you haven't seen I'm that, oh, was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's literally just like a crazy ass circus. But after I, after I just witnessed it and the curtains came down and everything, I turned to her and I was like, you should have just told me trippy. <laughs> like trippy is the one word. Like if you just said it was trippy, I would have been tripping on shrooms the oh. entire time. Like the main thing I was thinking the whole time, I was like, wow. Oh. I was tripping on mushrooms right now. This would be so Next much level. crazier. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's good. It's good sober. Oh, yeah. It's Something good sober. Even stone. I was definitely stoned. You know what I mean? But like. Getting a little vape pen. Yeah, yeah. We were like in the front. I was getting wet and shit. It was sick. Oh, so you sat too close. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I think it was cool. It was good. <laughs> you, you don't like being that close? Don't wet me. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. It was feeling cool. It was feeling it was awesome, mushrooms. Don't wet me. Yeah, true, actually. The, like the whole like texture change and everything would be freaking freaking but out that, but that that's a uh, a great experience in vegas is being on mushrooms and going to a show yeah it honestly is just a good yeah time, dude. i didn't I even know what like the show. shows entailed you know what i mean i know oh, they're actually no, like you've circuses. never been to anything like no i've never been to anything like wow. that I usually I, go to that's vegas one of my favorite things to do i love that shit. like even the there's a really good one is the michael jackson show Ooh. great one wow great is show it also trippy or is it just like entertaining or oh no they're all trippy oh they're all like they're all fuck am i watching Oh, is fucking like over the top trippy. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, for what, sure. where, where, yeah. what world are we in? But they're all trippy because it's like, it's Cirque du Soleil. So yeah, it's like some fucking shit. crazy aer aerobatics right, and shit. Like, right. it's, there's all some craziness. Yeah, yeah. You're on mushrooms. So it's like, 
That's what I'm saying. I, I go to all those shows on Soleil Fun was. Motion, it's like sure. a, I didn't even know it was like a company that puts oh, on you had no idea. shows. No, I didn't oh, know dude, that was. You just found a whole new avenue of fun That's shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? That shit's insane, yeah, dude. And the time. theaters are sick. Yeah. Like, just walking in the theater. You're Where's like, that one? Bellagio? That one's in the Bellagio, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I feel is like awesome. I just went to that. Maybe Maybe the last time I went to Vegas, I think I went to nice. it. Fuck. No it, shit. It, it, it's, it feels like fresh in my head right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Might be the, the They're all kicking around the water. And shit. Yeah, they're like fucking around the water like the little boat. And shit. Yeah. Dude, the two guys are fucking super mad, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, good one, the, the host good. and everything. I wonder, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole time I was thinking, I was like, how often do they do this and how much all, are they getting paid? You know? the they do them like week, gr- more than weekly and no, shit. No, no, no. They're grinding. It's they're, the same people for the most part, right? Like bro, there's not many people. They get show. They're, they're so thankful they're on that show. They're making yeah. money and they're, they, have a, they have a steady job. Right. That's what like, I'm saying. To be like an actor or a performer and to be on like a Vegas show, I feel like mm-hmm. it's like a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's almost like, like modern a, Broadway or some shit, I bet fucking lit yeah like, definitely or especially for like i feel like also though it's a place where maybe some like acts go to die because mm. then you get like like the carrot top type thing yeah where it's like fuck you've been yeah. here for 30 years <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah. escaping <laughs> like it's done yeah that so. makes sense but i like vegas shows yeah do you have a favorite Cirque, any, anything Cirque du Soleil is a fucking good time. I would say O is honestly up there. Like oh, the fact shit. that you saw that for your first one, like yeah. shout out to homegirl, like you're lit for taking them. That was just Should have told the mushrooms, but <laughs> it's okay. Next one. Hit yeah, the next one for, for sure. Hell next one for yeah. sure. Yeah. So I just, yeah, like you said, unlocked a whole new avenue of like, damn, this is like a whole new world of fun shit to do. Like, Fuck this yeah. is sick. Uh, actual circus. Like you always think about it. So you, so you went like the TVs and movies and they're like, dun, 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 yeah, 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 they're yeah. doing flips and shit. And that's what actually what the fuck they're and doing. They're crazy like good epic, at it. Too. But it's like epic and the music's like, and you're like, what? Yeah, I think the cool thing with O2 was, was the pool. Like, it's oh, like, yeah. It and it goes like up and pool, down and everything, pool, bro. That shit is crazy for sure. Besides uh, the show, did we get, do we, was there like any crazy good food? I mean, Vegas, it's oh, like, yeah. I think, Always I think shows yeah. and food, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's for Vegas. Yeah, I was like gambling and food, but now it's like shows and food. I Ooh, think now. Yeah, okay. just Gambling's cool too. I like Gambling's it. always a good like time, it. you know? I like losing some money. That's what I'm saying for sure. Dog's freaking out right now. Kento, what's up, homie? You need a snack? What up? He's just looking at us just, all crazy just, right I, now. Fucking Shibas are mad sus. They just have attitudes. Yeah, just personalities. Dead ass, not blinking. You got dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I have a little dog. How know. many? One? Uh, I, I mean, I say little because it's, <laughs> it's 80 pounds and not 200 pounds, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, Damn, 80? Yeah. That's See, a big boy. I say that's little though. <laughs> my, so my two previous dogs were 200 pounds and then 150 pounds. So this dog is like, oh, I got a small dog. Damn, what kind of dogs were the huge ones? Brazilian Mastiff, St. Bernard. Ah, uh, you're just a big dog kind of person. Yeah, a hundred percent big dog. Do you have them since they were like kids? Like no, babies? I got honestly every dog that I've gotten has been like adopted. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even this this one I got it was a pup. It was like kind of a puppy, the yeah. most recent one, but it was still like someone gave it to me. Mm, damn, people They're always not be like, like hard to like 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 maintain i guess because they're so big like if they act yeah. up i feel like they just fuck some shit up nah, like when like, he acts up i can just like stop it and pick him up real quick well this know? this this one, the most current one fuck it's like a, an australian australian like cattle dog oh. so she's just like a fucking psycho dude yeah it's like yeah. a street demon like so fast <laughs> so it's yeah. like fuck <laughs> and it's 80 pounds so i'm like holy, holy shit. shit uh but the other two like brazilian massive was literally like 200 pounds and he's just like Big dope, like, <laughs> do, 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 do. like Eeyore, bro. Like, literally, they're just like, yeah, yeah, so mellow and chill. San Bernard was a little bit more active, mm-hmm. but I mean, the big dogs are so chill, yeah, it's like, they're saying. so calm, right? Like, it's my favorite type of animal, just a big old giant dog, hell like, yeah, 150, to, 200 pounds, yeah. Like, shout out to the big dogs, like not bear. the big cats, because I'll take them out. A <laughs> Yo, cheetah, fuck. a cheetah, a leopard, no, bro, you I know got many, them, bro. You know how many, D- I, I'm sure you get them too, but now I get so many DMs of like. <laughs> Cats. Animal videos. Yeah, like yeah. fucking animals fighting each other. <laughs> Today, my entire stream on YouTube was fucking talking about silverback gorillas or or tigers. Like, who's winning in that mm. fight? And it's like, obviously, a silverback gorilla is fucking yeah. a tiger. I think bro. that thing's fucking up most things in the oh, animal dude, kingdom, I feel like. Terrifying. Besides, like, a rhino. Or That'd like be a, a great hippo. fight. He's, like, on its back. Just, like, and it's just fucking trying to kill a rhino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That'd be sick, dude. I you know, honestly was think sick- you're getting murked. And what's crazy is I was also, I don't know who what podcast it was, but Joe Rogan was on, like, a- Andrew Schultz or somebody's yeah, podcast. Yeah. And they were talking about the same thing, about, <laughs> about fighting. Any, and he was like, oh, I'm not fighting anything, not even a wolf. It's like, mm, you're literally I, like a nah. jelly donut. 
I feel like you're wolves- literally like a jelly donut. <laughs> Like all of us are. Like I we're feel like so, you, you're soft. I'm soft. I would soft, much bro. rather fight. We're getting stabbed. I think I would much rather fight a big cat than a than a big dog. Like and as a now, what's fucked. it called? A like wolf? a wolf? Yeah. But it's gonna Fuck be a pack that. of wolves. It's never gonna be a one v one. It's gonna be a pack, and we're getting fucking. And they're just they're just they all they do is murder. <laughs> That's literally all <laughs> they do. Little demons they that walk around murder. and shit. Yeah, like those nature docs that are all <gasps> like. Terrifying. That are nighttime vision and shit. Nope. Don't those watch are those. Cra- really? You don't like no, fuck with nature no, dogs? No, 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 no. I don't. Dude, I don't have you ever seen the Instagram uh nature is metal? Yeah. See, like my wife loves that shit. Me, I'm like, stop fucking showing me. What? Like, why? Oh, why? 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 It's so gory. Holy <laughs> God. They're ripping body parts apart. Yeah, the like the little intestines are coming out and everything. It's like whoa, people think hunting is bad. Care. Have you ever seen what animals do to each other? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kento, you scared. seen them? <laughs> How hey, much listen, Kento, what does Kento weigh? Like Kento's only 20, 20 pounds. pounds yeah, he he's, a, he's a small little boy. Listen, if you got pets at home, what kind of dog, what kind of animals you got? I feel Ooh, like there's a lot of like there's a lot of crazy animals. Like you ever have people that have crazy animals? Like people who have what? like reptiles and snakes oh, and oh, shit. Fuck, dude. One know of my know friends, I mean? she just got a fucking spider, like a tarantula. Oh, I'm like, oh. see, that's what I'm saying. Like oh. <laughs> I was like, hey, she was like, I want to get it because I'm afraid. I'm like, you do you. You know? Yeah. I, inc- I I support you. Yeah. But I am never. I don't want that near me. That's what I'm saying. I, I have a homie back I support home. you. Yeah. I have a homie back home nope. in Texas who has snakes. Nah. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's like, you want to hold one, bro? Like, Fuck no. Like, Fuck what? you. And he's like, come on, bro. And he like takes it out the cage. And I'm like, dude, you better get that. Are you talking shit like a little away. snake or like a, uh, like a python? One's, one's like a decent size. Like one's kind of smaller. Like it probably just wrap around your hand. But one's like will wrap around your whole nah, arm. Like bro. it's fat. Nah. Like it's big. And is it like, fuck. is it? Bite snakes or like the snakes? I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about? That's that's what I'm saying. They all bite though. Like there's no way some of them are like, yeah, I don't bite. But there's some that like, they like constrict you and then there's like like a python and then there's ones like, I'm going to bite you and you're going to die. Right, right. I don't know. I don't think you can have those, can snakes you? Freak. Are you allowed to have those? I don't know. Snake people. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I think you can only have one, but I don't know. Can you have a venomous snake? Oh my I God. I just remember my other buddy has fucking tarantulas too. How many of my friends Whoa. have tarantulas? This is weird. What is it about tarantulas? He's got a bunch That's of them crazy. too. He's got like four. Damn, Fuck. a tarantula, dude. Fuck. A fucking nah, I'm not spider. Down. There's at least a couple people watching that have like spiders. I've definitely pets, you know? see spider people and snake. Like, honestly, y'all, y'all are fucking a little weird because I've, you'll be having like your bed. And then they're just having like spiders and snakes around them and shit. And like, y'all are some fucking freaky yeah. people, dude. Like, ah, <laughs> what if they escape? Crazy. Like, ah. right, right. One that's like, nah, I kind of fuck with lizards or like little, like little uh, bearded yeah, dragons. Yeah, yeah, bearded shit. dragon is bearded dope. dragons are cute. It's I, dope. I, I fuck with them. Yeah. Dope as fuck. They're like little mini, like, like, like a little, little dinosaur, creature. dude. I'm like, yeah, what is this? Oh, shit. I have a, I have a awesome. fucking dragon. And he can walk like straight up and shit. Yeah, like, what? dope. Dope. And then you got snake. Scary, right? Not dope. Just spider, types creepy. Of reptiles. <laughs> Have you always had just dogs? You ever had any uh, like birds or anything? Birds are chill. Birds are cool. Birds a little loud though, but definitely ah, always dog. I'm a dog. I'm a shit. dog person. Hundred yeah, percent. Dogs are just the chillest. I've always had a dog. I feel like yeah. there's just like a hereditary. If someone doesn't you know, like dogs, it's in my blood. I like a dog. I like. Don't know if I fucking like them. Yeah, it's like a like good like, character. Yeah, if like you're like I don't like dogs, I'm like fuck, bro. That's weird. <laughs> like why not? That yeah, like, make unless sense. you've got like like some fucking like good reason. Oh like, yeah, like some crazy. Like, I was maybe, bald as a child and like. All right, bro. <laughs> I, I we sure I'm gonna give you a pass. But like, if you just don't like dogs, fuck. True. Yikes. Something about it, man. It's weird, right? Yeah, fuck them, fuck. fuck them though. <clears throat> Speaking of a dog, <laughs> President Holy Biden. <laughs> what a transition! <laughs> President Joe tweeted some shit last week, saying some shit, but some good shit for once. It was oh crazy. My God, I'm he dead. said, and I quote: "As I've said before, no one should be in jail just for using or possessing marijuana." Today. August 8th, 2022, I'm taking steps to end our failed approach. Allow me to lay them out. Tweet's got like half a million likes. I like that, President. (laughs) First, I'm pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. There are thousands of people who were previously convicted of simple possession who who may be denied employment, housing, or educational opportunities as a result. My pardon will remove this burden. That's fire as fuck. <coughs> Second, I'm calling on governors to pardon simple state marijuana possession offenses. Just as no one should be in federal prison solely for possessing marijuana, no one should be in a local jail or state prison for that reason, for that reason either. Good stuff. Good stuff right there. Third, we classify marijuana at the same level as heroin and more serious than fentanyl. It makes no sense. I'm asking secretary and the attorney general to initiate the process of reviewing 
how marijuana is scheduled under federal law, which is fat as fuck. I feel like that's like one of the biggest deals on this whole thing that he tweeted about. And I'd also like to note that as a federal and state regulations change, we will still need important limitations on trafficking, marketing, and underage sales of marijuana. Makes sense. Sending people, <clears throat> sending people to jail for possessing marijuana has upended too many lives for a conduct that is legal in many states. Facts. That's before you address the clear racial disparities around prosecution and conviction. Today, we begin to right these wrongs. Wow. What? That was a lot. Some statements. <coughs> Some a lot. statements a lot right there. Fucking hell. Uh, Fuck so we yeah. can start at the beginning. So let's start. Let's start at the top. We're gonna we're gonna go from the top. Pardoning pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. So this is where like the wording is super important, right? Um. Now I think I did. I looked it up. It was from ninety one to two thousand and twenty one. Sixty five hundred people were arrested with that charge, mm -hmm. but not just with that charge. So that's, that's where it's, it's tough. Cause if you read, it's also in, I think that second one where it says solely. So like that keyword right there, solely, it says solely for possessing marijuana. It's because like when you, like you're not getting sent to federal prison for simple mar marijuana possession. Like, like, right. like usually there's like a ton of other charges there. Mm -hmm. So this, while it's like in theory, it's like, fuck yeah, this is dope. Yeah. Like, and it is. Like, yeah. If anybody, it, zero people should be in jail. So if this helps one person, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. If it helps one human being, it's amazing. But the way it's worded, you would think like it helps so many more people. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is not a lot of individuals are in federal prison mm -hmm. for just, for solely right. simple marijuana possession. They're yeah. in there for a, a slew of things because right. the federal government's going to come after you like a fucking dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think dog. there's a lot of people that, because uh, it says all prior federal offenses, do you think there's people that out, that are out, that may be like getting their I, record expunged or something this, like that? This will help this? someone right. for sure. Like, a, And if it helps, again, if it helps one human yeah, yeah. being, do you think that's so a, awesome. Do you think it's a bigger number than 6,500 for the people that are out? Or do you think there's more people in? Well, from, it's from, from 91 mm -hmm. to 2021. So in that oh, span, 6,500 6, people. Oh. But it's not just that crime. So it's, I mean, it, 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 right. it's less than that 6,500. Right. Because it's, that if they're saying solely, solely yeah, just yeah. that one charge, I don't know how many federal char like cases right. they're going to do for, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. a federal case. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They'll always try to tie bread. something if you had a firearm. They're going to try to, I mean, they're, they're like a 99% conviction rate. Like they're going to yeah. get that ass. Like they're not going to get you for weed. Like they're yeah. going to get that ass. Yeah. The so fucking it's, feds, man. It's, it's it, keywords, right? Keywords. Mm -hmm. right? But, and again, in theory, this is dope. Like this is, it's, if again, one human being worth. Yeah, for um, sure. <clears throat> the next one's pretty cool. He says, uh, yep. Goes it down a little notch because I don't think he has the or like the, power to go down a state level, but he's calling on the governors to say, hey, if you're being in jail for this simple marijuana charge, simple possession offenses. Yep. Let him you should get those. Yeah. And again, it's, it, it's again, if, if that helped one human being. Yeah. I think that's worth it. Yeah. 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 Fuck, bro. You, I feel like there's a lot more that are facing just simple state charges than the federal. A hundred percent. So yeah, like yeah. you're in like fucking Alabama or some shit. Right. You might be in fucking jail for, for just having weed. Right, I don't know yeah. the law, but yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Like fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> if you got caught with a pound of weed, mm -hmm. would you be in trouble? Like in right, Texas? For, like, yeah, for fuck, sure. Bro. In Texas, a hundred percent. I've known friends that have gone to jail over shit like so this. So I'm if curious that helps if anybody, that helps. Again, yeah. one human being, I'm down for it. Yeah. The thing that that's... <clears throat> Like the third one where it's like, we, we classify this. I'm, I'm asking so-and-so. I don't know. I'm not educated enough, but can the president not write an executive order to reclassify this themselves? Like I, I'm, mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. I don't study this shit. But in my head, I, I, my common sense says that fucking dude, why can't we just write an executive order to reschedule, right. reschedule this, shit? this shit? Why are we okay. asking number someone? Two, number like three we know, or whatever. we know, yeah. you know. You know, bitch, like, <laughs> shit is not the same as fucking heroin. Like, Everyone come on. Knows. Yeah. Come on, bro. Everyone like, knows it's, at this It's point. fucking silly. Right. So to play the game, it's a game. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking game. And I hate when, like, uh, the cannabis community is used as, like, a fucking vote pawn. Mm -hmm. Because we get tricked. We hear the word legalize. We hear pardon. We hear federal this. We hear let people out. And mm -hmm. we're like, fuck yeah. Because we're, we're like so positive in the cannabis thing. We're like, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, fuck yeah. This is lit. Right. We, we, we're going to do this together. Mm -hmm. And then we get fucking shit on. Right. So I just, 
whenever it's like uh, election times or anything like this, the government's like weed. I'm like, we'll have to What's look really going a little on, bit man? more into What's it, really you know. On? But if he was like, I need this presidential push, I'm going to decriminalize it. I'd be like, you know what, fuck you. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I, and again, I'm down. again, decriminalization, I am all fucking for. Right. Legalization freaks me the fuck out. Mm-hmm. It freaks me out because California, do the it's fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of people will ask what the difference is or a lot of people are like, why wouldn't you want full legalization? How come? I mean, legal, just it's it. the tax, the tax alone, the, the uh, ability for big corporation to take uh, over. Mm-hmm. I mean, the small businesses got fucking obliterated here. The medical market got obliterated in California. Yeah. Like our dispensary right now, I mean, I, I, we see less than 5% medical patients, dude. Like wow. if I open this, this like that's fuck. it used, it would have been a hundred percent before this. Yeah. Like, where do all the money? Like now they're not getting, they're paying 35% more tax. Mm-hmm. Like, small businesses. That's the biggest thing for me is my friends had to close their businesses because they couldn't get the licensing. Mm-hmm. That shit hurt my soul. I was like, damn, right. that's fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Decriminalization though. You could smoke weed, mm-hmm. not go to jail. You can grow weed, you not go to jail. It's mm-hmm. kind of lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but the lit. selling of weed, don't you think, is that, is that you think decriminalization? <sighs> Medical cannabis, it worked great here. Mm-hmm. Prop 215 was amazing. Um, I think, I think a medical cannabis route can work. Mm-hmm. How it works? I'm not smart enough. I don't know. Right. Somebody smarter than me got to figure that shit out. Yeah. 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 But the know. main reason being taxes. Well, and how it, ta- it's just too much, bro. 35%. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're fucking tripping. Yeah. Like what is taxed like that? Mm-hmm. Do you think if taxes were lower, legalization would be a move? If legal, <laughs> like legalization taxes, taxes, were 15, lower, 20%, taxes or, lower for mm-hmm. sure. And, and, uh, improved ability for, um, the, the, the small guy to fucking get, to get in, you know, like it's, it's tough for <clears throat> a small business owner to start like a cannabis brand and like get licensing and, right. <clears throat> and maybe the licensing is not that expensive, but the facilities and all that, it's like a huge barrier for, yeah. you know, somebody to enter the, the cannabis, uh, licensing world or the prop 64 world. Right. Um, so that is just lower barrier for entry is the mm-hmm. biggest thing I think. Nice. But it is possible, do you think, to for legalize weed to be a good thing? Yeah, it's it's just tough. Yeah, anything that's like over regulated is tough as fuck. You right. Know? So it's can it work? Fuck yeah. Will it work? Ah. Mm, money we'll is a money's a motherfucker, bro. Enough, like, yeah. Money's a motherfucker, dude. It's crazy. Crazy but stuff. But this is a crazy tweet, man. Any, any positive I'm for I'm for any positive stuff. I just always, you know, like keep your eyes open and your ears open when you see shit like this. Like, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Th- read, research. Don't be believing everything, you know what I mean? Even if it's, you know, there's a, there's a meaning and a, a reason behind all the things that the politicians do and everything like that. So be on your toes. But shit, if it's any sort of being true, if it's half true, I'm fucking down. One I'm person. On, I'm one down. person. I'm yeah, down, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm super down. Um, so some clarification. We have a little article right here because here what we just read is uh, it's a lot to take in. So what the pardon does not do, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, a pardon is a, quote, expression of the president's forgiveness and does not change an individual's conviction nor proclaim their innocence. Individuals (laughs) whose charges include conspiracy, distribution, possession with intent to distribute, or other charges involving marijuana do not qualify for the pardon. Can we stop right there? So that's that's where that word solely, you remember I said the word solely right there? Yeah. It's because of that. So like if you had anything else besides just possessing it, Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 nothing. GG's. Right. Sit in the jail cell. 100%. Like, fuck. Yeah, definitely fuck. feel that. But it sounds so good in the tweet. Yeah. The tweet reads so good. Right, but I think ah. there's way more people with just simple charges than- State level. On the yeah, state level. 100%. Not on the, on the federal level, I don't think they're wasting their time. Right, So right, if, right. if he could get the, any governor to do it, mm-hmm. dope. We'll take it. Again, one person, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah take for it. sure. It also does not apply to convictions made by state or local law as only federal offenses apply. <laughs> President Biden's proclamation does not pardon condic- convictions under state law, although it does apply to possession of marijuana convictions under the District of Columbia's criminal code. Mm, the Department of Justice said Thursday. So if you're in the District of Columbia, I guess you got sure. it. Yeah, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I know there's a big uh, D.C. population for weed. Also includes or uh, uh, excludes non-citizens. Oh, the pardon also excludes non-citizens, meaning undocumented immigrants do not qualify for the pardon. Huh. Interesting, interesting. But here's what the pardon does do. While a pardon does not reverse the conviction, it does remove civil liberty restrictions that typically come from convictions, such as restrictions on the right to vote, hold office, sit on a jury, obtain a license, bond, or employment. Oh, so you get all those rights back? Right. 
Okay. Respect, respect. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you're still guilty of said charge. I guess so, yeah. And I don't think it comes off your record, just, I guess, but just it's just okay for you. Basically like uh, time served. They're like, yeah. boom, you're out. If qualifying individual needs proof of the pardon, they may ask for a certificate which will be preceded or produced by the attorney general uh, nice. in collaboration with the office of the pardon. Okay, so if you do like... Um, oh, if they're like trying to fuck with you? Yeah, yeah. So if you try to get a job somewhere, it's still going to be on your record. Be like, no, I have the pardon for that. Here's the paperwork. So I guess that's what you got to do. So interesting. Uh, as of this writing, the pardon attorney, oh, there's a pardon attorney, Bro. is in the process of creating what? applications for a pardon certificate, which will likely be made available on the Department of Justice's website. Cool. I okay. want to. I want to know. Oh, fuck, dude. I hope I don't forget. I want to know the number of people that get pardoned in like the next twelve months. Like, tell yeah. me. I want to know the fucking statistic. Right, that's that's right. going to be public knowledge. Like, I mm-hmm. want to know the fucking stat. Yeah. If it's five people, it's fucking annoying. Yeah. But it's helpful. But it's like it seems like it's going to be thousands. Right. Right. Like, right. That's what it reads as. Right. Like you yeah. read that tweet. You're like, fuck, dude. So many people are getting out of jail right now. Yeah. That's yeah. Like dead ass. Like yeah, that's, yeah. That, that that's what it like reads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90% of the people are like, holy shit, everyone's getting out of jail. Mm-hmm. That's fire. If you're in jail for weed, let's go. Yeah, you're yeah, out. yeah. Nah. Suck. But shit, hopefully some governors step up in the Come next on. couple months. You know what I mean? That'd be I think pretty it, dope. You can tell where this is heading. Right. Like, like you can tell it, it's, it's becoming more socially acceptable everywhere. Mm-hmm. Cannabis is trending towards legalization, trending towards decriminalization. We know, we know where this is ending. Yeah. Who's going to fucking push the button is basically like who's putting that on their back and for history forever. Mm. I made weed legal. That's like, Ooh, come on. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy time. History books are being written right now. I didn't know there's a pardon Go. attorney. Yeah, me neither. What he's in, fuck? he's in charge of all the pardons, I suppose. Nothing. You need that as your guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The pardon attorney's in your back pocket. Hey, yo. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> going to get a quick pardon. Like. <laughs> Quick little signature. That'd be sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, shit, man. Good, uh, good things on the horizon, if not, I mean, Fuck, immediately. Man. You know what I mean? It's, it's coming, like you said. We got uh, some video react. This oh. man is video react time. I love Let's these. go. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of these for sure. Oops. Where'd it go? There, there it we go, oh, man. It was an Instagram video. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, it's bro. not a video? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so I saw this earlier today. <laughs> it's uh they're in the locker room, player to KD in the all-star game locker room. So there's a video. Oh, and it's lying. someone uh um, oh, is that Kobe? Yeah, going up to Kobe asking for a jersey. And there's just some audio in the background at the end. Yo, he said, yeah. <laughs> they didn't even hesitate. Yeah. Just the quickest thing <laughs> in the locker room. That's so fire. Yo. They're sparking up fat blunts in the locker room. Where, what so is this? Uh, Team USA? Uh, no, it's at the All Star game? game. Oh shit! So it's all the it's all the good ass players. So it's not even goats. like some scrubs. Like, you know what goats. I mean? It's like some fucking like they're the ones. Like they're yeah. the fucking top fifteen, top twenty players in the league. That's Passing around a I blunt in the All Star locker room. As you should. <laughs> this is after the game. Yeah, it's, oh, I mean, man. imagine it's either before or after shit. That'd be fucking before. dope if it was before. Ah. Yeah. But they're starting jerseys Smith. and shit. So yeah, <laughs> high as a motherfucker. So that is amazing. I and love it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold yeah, on. and there's an interview in a uh, little Netflix show. For me, it clears distractions out your brain a little bit. Settles you down. It's like having a glass of wine. Yeah. Oh, I fuck with KD heavy right now. Yeah. And, and you're, you're just fine. I'm actually high right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, fuck. I don't really watch a lot of basketball, but I fuck with him so much. Right? Kevin, KD, saying. come on, man. KD. I love him. He's like, I'm actually high right now. Just <laughs> calm, just regular. Just regular, bro. Because that's what it is, man. That's what I'm that, saying. That, it doesn't, weed doesn't mean, like, yeah. that's not, like, weed doesn't mean that. Like, yeah. that's not what weed is. Like, that's it can, what I'm saying. It can, yeah. if you want to. Definitely can, for sure. That I think the good. dopest part about this was is the fact that it's in the All-Star game. Like, it's not just, like, the regular locker room. Like, these no, are all bro, the it's literally stars the goats. of the league. Yeah, it's, it's 100%. Literally the goats, bro. Like, these they're still smoking. Yeah. So it's like, there's still an argument. It's like, oh, they are, you, I mean. Weed does not make you lazy. Right. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. 100%. No, I, I'll never subscribe to that shit. It does not make you, you're lazy. You're, you're lazy just, before you, weed? You're just lazy, bro. Weed will increase it, you know? But if you're lazy, you what know, the we'll fuck right. is right. this? We got some uh, more back, video reacts right one? here. Let's go. What the fuck is you Washing the wood, man. Getting some flavoring in there, it looks like. Bro, you just pick mango. No. Oh, the no. mango? Hey, I mean, shit. I've definitely heard of washing the wood. Nah, bro. Nah. Is your weed trash so you have to do that? Is that is that why? Like you're smoking Reggie? 
Shit. So you're like, damn, it's better just than this. getting the flavor. I mean, maybe he's just didn't have any water to wash the wood, I guess. <coughs> I, th- <laughs> I thought like there's more, chem- there might be more chemicals in that drink. Oh, than, than that's fucking- true. Hey, don't be hating on the Arizonas, bro. The oh, Arizona was that Arizona? Iced you're goddamn right. What's in a plastic? What is it? Why is it in a can? <laughs> Was that economy, ex- is that like expensive or yeah, something? Yeah, like, I guess it's, it's the primo version, man. You can close it back up, put it in the fridge. Is is, is Arizona still 99 cents? I think. I, I've i seen it both ways. I've definitely is seen it for like a dollar twenty nine. I'm going to need a check right now from my I've seen that shit for like a dollar twenty nine. It's pretty fucked up. Them but a, a lot of the times I've seen 99 cents though, which is dollar, cool. Which is probably cool. in LA, dollar twenty nine. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, some bullshit like that. Dollar twenty nine. A lot of places. Are we taking a little smoke break real quick? I think so, man. Let's get a little rip skis in, man. Let's take some of this gelato rip. While we get a little research and I've never one twenty nine. Those bitches raised the price. Costco still hasn't raised their price on glizzies. Ooh, just Costco saying. glizzies are good too. Dollar and 50. the pizzas and the little churros. I fuck Damn. with Costco. What you, you like Costco glizzies? Uh, I'm a Costco connoisseur, I'd say. Okay. The okay. glizzy connoisseur. Damn, Eric is a glizzy connoisseur. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's a statement I didn't know if I would ever be hearing. You don't fuck with the glizzies? Nah, man, glizzy's cool. That's but I don't I'm know saying. if I'm a connoisseur of glizzies. Whoa, really? Yeah, I don't know if I'd I'm say a... I'll scarf down a glizz anytime. <laughs> There's Any... not many moments where I wouldn't scarf down a glizz. Really? Wow. Damn. Even man, in that's... the most inappropriate scenarios, <laughs> like at a funeral or Fine. a wedding. Just at a funeral, you just you just like pull staring out the, at the fucking... Pull out the glizz from the, the tux. Just like a <laughs> fucking Dodger foot long. You're just like, holy shit. I can't believe this, dude. Jimmy fucking love glizzies. And you're just like freaking out. <laughs> Kento, you have just been a little shit today, yeah, but we're just going to all say it. All right. We I love you, buddy. drop him off so we don't have to worry about it. But uh, nah, he actually under, accidentally got high the other day. I'm not a bad owner. I never get him high. Oh, but, no. Did he find like a piece of trash or something? He found a fucking Q-tip in the trash can, These this little fuckers. bastard. I'm always getting them to not go in the trash, but this one fucking time. I swear, my St. Bernard used to do that fucking shit. Yeah. All. It's like they know. I don't know, know what it is. Yeah, they, they might know because he's know. done it once before. So he definitely like Fucker. has experienced such a thing before. But yeah, middle of the night, uh, I woke up. He's usually next to me or in his cage. And uh, it was like 2, 3 a.m. Had to take a piss. I was like, where's Kento at? Go downstairs. He's sitting on the couch, just oh. spaced out. Like, he's sitting just like looking straight up. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, he's high as fuck. Oh, and then I look buddy. over and then he's, uh, he's got a little throw up in his bed. And I was like, damn, he greened out. Poor guy greened little out. Buddy. He's just super high. Yeah, so I had to just. Make sure he was all good all night. It's them. And then this morning now. he was all, yeah, this morning he was all fucked up too. Not fucked up, but he was like clearly tired because he stayed up all night. Yeah. So he was just super slumped. So I thought he'd be slumped right now, but now he's back awake. No, he's spiced, bro. He was fucking running laps and he yeah. was fucking spiced out of his mind. Oh, shit, <laughs> In the I car too on the way here, he just didn't move at all. So I thought it was, he, he's, he's rejuvenated. He's That's back. good boy. Gento is back, baby. That's good stuff. Don't get your animals high, everybody. I always get some bullshit comments like that. Like, yeah, bro, I fucking blow into my dog's face all the time. Nah, like, they, don't, on, they don't like, like They don't yeah, want that. Yeah, that's all I'm don't saying. Do Come on that's now. Not, that's not Get your fun. cat high with some catnip. That's about it. It's real. Get, Dude, get someone told up. us that, that that plant, someone made a nice comment about the catnip thing. Oh, they yeah. Explained exactly what it is. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. All right, that's I'm awesome. cooling down. I got, yeah, what do I got? What do I got right here? Cookies and cream, baby. That's your shit, man. That's Let's your go. shit. Just well, you can't buy the Z-Cam Z-Cam anymore, dude. It's Fuck. gone. It's gone, man. <laughs> Make sure to get your Pine Park rosin while you still can. These three flavors are limited. I'm not sure if there's any Z-Cam left, but we got the other two. <laughs> Runs Crashers and Cookies and Cream. Just uh, limited supply. We got the next three flavors coming very soon. So make sure to get where, uh, these while you can. Where can we still get them? Oh, man. Same place as you already know. Flower Company. If you deliver all of them down the state. Okay. Uh, we got Go Global. Downtown LA, spot in NorCal as well. We got uh, Cookies Long Park. Nice. A couple, got a couple, a couple go. areas, man. Get Hell that yeah. fucking pine park, sure guys. And then uh, there, Saturday, downtown LA, you can get it at Secret Session. Oh, yeah. Let's go. You're goddamn right, man. Does the discount code still work on Flower Company? Pine Park 15? Oh, oh, all caps, all caps. Yeah, all caps. What the Ooh, fuck? What? A little price drop on the rosin? $41 at Flower Company. I, I might, don't know, bro. I low-key might go I might, yeah, 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 low key. <laughs> I'm not even Just joking. Like, to toot my own horn a little I'm bit. Not even that's yeah. an insane deal, That's actually fucking awesome. What the fuck? Damn, that's awesome right there. Just makes me want to take a bong grip of some Pine Park. That's crazy. Yeah, Pine Park. So glad we got this new glass. I appreciate it more every episode, honestly. 
<laughs> every episode that goes by, I'm like, oh, you have a good time. It's like upgrading your gaming chair or something. You just want to sit down more, you know? I need to up down a gaming chair. Honestly? Oh, shit. This that was crazy. Oh, my. What are you? Dude, what the fuck? The flamethrower lighter. That's aggressive. Super aggressive. It's like a crack lighter, dude. What have you been doing with that thing? Hey, what have you oh. been? Oh, it's warm, probably. Where was it sitting? I, think I feel like they do that when they're warm. <coughs> Etchy. Just for some crack. Let's lit your hair on fire, bro. <coughs> oh, that was a <coughs> great episode. You ever had something crazy happen like that? Like lit something on fire, lit your hair, lit like clothing, lit something. I don't think so. I burn a lot of shit, I feel like, with my torch. Like it just falls over. I'm like, oh, there's like a little mark. You know? I, I feel like that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when it's been like on or something and you like left it like that. Oh, no, no, no. no. I've left it like that and knocked oh, it over. Oh, shit. No, I've definitely never like, done oh, that. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, that's fuck. crazy. Yeah, I did that. No, sometimes it's just really hot on the end, you know, and it like melts your fucking. Oh. Definitely. I don't there. think that's happened. Mm. I always have like the little thing, something on it. The guard? Yeah. 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 You got to have one I of those. I need some new guards now. You got to have one of those because yeah, those fucking sure. things save your fucking arms. Oh, for sure. I don't see I haven't. Oh, not going to say I haven't burned myself. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, I know, but Davin says, ah, everyone's got dab wounds, dab scars. <laughs> <laughs> There's always the craziest spots too, like something falls or like- I've definitely got like burn elbow on my, like, or like, thighs. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. And it like burns hot like oil from too. Like, okay, the worst, okay, now I have, a, I have a terrible time for sure. Taking a dab like this, right? And it uh, burns and you don't get it all off. Oh, and then, and then it then like away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. And it hardens up right away. Oh, like it, instantly. Like on your thigh and then, yeah. oh, fuck. Now, I'm, now I have a wax. Yeah. Like, I got to rip it off. Like, fuck. That shit's the worst. Yeah, that yeah, shit's yeah. the worst. That was, a, that was a fucked up memory. Damn it. It happens sometimes. All right, what do we got? What else we got here? I'm not taking a blinker, dude. No, you fucking hit that blinker. I hit one. I'm not no, hitting no. Your I Look, I hit one blinker. You better That's hit that you. shit. You told me we were going to. I just watched the Eric video, bro. Take a blinker. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were going to hit that shit. I'm not doing it. Well, at least fucking hit it a little bit. All right. All right. <laughs> There's a good friendship right there. You can tell that's just some boys. Double. Just some good old boys. That's what I'm saying. I respect that. I right love there. that. That was a yeah. great video. Smoking brings people together. You know, they take blinkers back to back though all day all regularly. Time. All the time, bro. People love the blinkies, man. Even now, the now, what's your take on it? Blinkers, good or bad for you? Because uh, you know, you see, you hear people, oh, it's bad for you. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? <sighs> Can it be bad? Do you think? I mean, I think, I feel like it I've depends got on the cart. Like, if it, this is my exact take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if your card's melting shit and getting metal in it at a certain temp, like you probably just got some bullshit. It's my take. It's like the hardware is so important and people right. fucking, they're like, nah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll yeah. Cool. The oil obviously is fucking insanely important. A hundred percent. But the hardware. Right. Like some of it's fucking cheap shit in yeah. China, bro. Like they, they don't fucking care sure. about your health. Like yeah. they don't give a fuck. Die, bitch. Like they don't <laughs> care. They literally do not make care. Some money. They do not care. Like it's just a fact, bro. Like, like, oh, these white people going to buy it at ten cents a card. They gonna Give die. It to them. Like, like they gonna like die. Ten thousand cards, like, and it does. Out. Like, and it's not so. Like, like when if you do tests on like the cards, day one, it won't show anything like heavy metals. Stuff. Right. But if you test that card, ninety day, thirty days, yeah, gonna be some. It's gonna be some shit in there, bro. And you're smoking it, so like, fuck. Dangerous I don't. I don't stuff. think like blinkers are the thing that is bad for you. I think the yeah. same opinion. A hundred percent. And I think like the point of it blinking is like it turns off before it gets too hot. Like before it gets to that point most but of the, the time. Cheap, you but know? the cheap ones. But the cheap ones don't. Exactly. There's exactly. a reason like a lot of these devices have thresholds, you know. Right. Like, puff coat only gets so hot. Right. hundred percent. They, they tell you to dab at this. Yeah. Like, yeah. The reason. Just know what you're smoking on everybody. On, uh, not only the Not only the oil and not only the concentrate and everything, but know the cartridge too. Dangerous stuff. Oh, what playing some fuck? catch with the joint. Meanwhile, out on the port watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said he's got a heater going. Oh, it's uh, San Francisco. Yeah, it's it's during the game. <laughs> it's during the game. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. You know what uh, that reminds me of? Just because like weeds out and like more in the public. Yeah, this dog's spiced. I love. Yeah, yeah. You got the zoomies. <laughs> I love dogs, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
The zoomies. Yeah, I love when commentators are put on the spot with some shit like that. Like, there was like, or there's like a picture of the fans and like they always do some crazy shit. Yeah, they have to do the double gawk gawk. (laughs) (laughs) Those are classic. Those are classic. Good stuff. We are good. What else do we got? Oh, hell yeah. Bro, I love videos like this. I love videos like this. I don't know if I've seen a pineapple. I've seen a watermelon. The strawberry bowl. I barely just recognized that. <laughs> Damn, wow. look at the scenery. I don't too. think I would have recognized that. This, this guy is, is vibing right now. This is a great vid. Waterfall, strawberry, strawberry pineapple. Bowl, fucking wow. He's vibing heavy. I don't even know where that is. Took a fat ass rip, dude. Yeah, a good rip. And he just sinks after. Wow, that's a that's just a well directed video. Yeah, Shout they, out to them. Whenever the, they plant to like, okay, so look. Yeah, yeah. Pack of strawberries. <laughs> Pineapple. We're going on a hike. Damn, I bet you that tasted what? good too. Wow, that was sick. I, I always like see that. some people hitting some crazy stuff. Didn't we watch the Glizzy one? Yeah. We watched bro, someone hits no, on the head of a Glizzy, right? No, that was awesome. No, I don't know, but that one was weird. <laughs> 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 you are the Glizzy connoisseur, so you'd know better. Everything about the Glizzies, man. You know what it is. Shout out to that guy. Oh, he's going to go through the cloud? I've always wanted to do this. Oh, come on. Go through it. I know. Whoa. Why does this feel like he's too high in the air? Yeah, I know. Like, Where did he get dropped like, from? <laughs> like, what? whoa, that you, was crazy. I, you felt like too, too high up, bro. Yeah. Like, Damn, I wish you just dropped. Like, right that's not normal skydiving. Up. That's like, yeah, he got to have a mask on, right? What do you think would happen if you just fell right through that? What if you got caught? Oh, if you just went through there and now it's how you, that's like a wormhole to another dimension. Oh, shit. Fuck, That'd I need some more sick. mushrooms. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Or would you just go? like, if you, knew, you were, if you knew you were skydiving, it was like a wormhole here, would you go? You just don't know where it goes. Yeah, would you go in? Ooh, you're like, fuck it, dude. This life was fun, but would Ooh, you go? It depends on how old I am. Right oh, now, so today, tomorrow. Dang, let's fuck go. No, no. Yeah, no, see, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the like an old ass man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down to go through the wormhole if I'm old. I'm down to do a lot of shit when I'm older. Fuck it. Do some oh, crazy stuff. Fuck. That was insane. That was a good one, though. I wish wormhole. you went through the cloud, man. It would have been. Yeah, I know. Not going to lie. Way cooler. I was thinking about that when you're in the planes and you just see it. You're like, what if I just jumped? But with a parachute, of course. Oh my with God. A, with a, with a, yo. But with a parachute. We need to you know talk, I mean? dude. And the fucking podcast. <laughs> with bro. a nice parachute and a nice <laughs> way to get down. You ever been in a hot air balloon? No. Have you? Would you get in one? No, I have. I don't really like heights like that. No. Mm. Not really. I like being on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to not have as many <laughs> death experiences. Like, I'm good. Just I bet just you it's a, a lot of adrenaline, though. Adrenaline rush. I can get adrenaline on the ground. Definitely. Gee. Go fight a tiger, dude. Ooh. <laughs> adrenaline dump. The Boom. most the way to get adrenaline. That would be <coughs> crazy, dude. Yeah, I was watching this new documentary on um, climbing Everest. Pretty crazy. Oh, like the, It's like the 2015 uh, little earthquake that happened while they were there. Fucking crazy. It's a crazy documentary, but it really made of- me think. I'm like, why do these guys do this shit? And a lot, a of, lot of people like, do it. A lot of people like do lot, it. Like, like an insane busy. amount of people. Like it's yeah. busy. Like the foot traffic's busy. The yeah, people was, like front and behind you. When I you. seen videos, I was like, I thought these motherfuckers be walking by themselves. And it's I like, no. A hundred people in front of them, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's insane. Going to Everest? What? what? Would you ever climb a mountain? Not Everest, but like a mountain in general? Yeah. Be sick. I feel like I've climbed a mountain in my day, like small mountain. Oh, I feel that. For sure. There's a, a lot of hike. There's, there's a lot of hiking hey. in, in California. There's a lot of hiking. Texas, I hikes. y'all got... Oh, it's fucking flats. We got, got hills. It's called the hill country. Got actually. this flat it's thing. Just, is it really yeah. called the hill country? Yeah. Did you just make that up? No, it's called the hill country. Look at hill country in Texas. Like mainly, mainly the middle, I guess, where like San Antonio. Just Texas, nothing. No, mountains. nothing. A couple hills here and there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty lame for the most part. We got another <laughs> last one to react to real quick. What do we got? China airdrops a military robot dog armed with machine gun and ammo. Damn, dude, this could easily take I on a tiger. I do not want to fucking be in the Terminator, dude. This could fuck up a tiger. Any animal you throw at it. I mean, I don't know about any animal, dude. You seen a rhino or a hippo? You think it's a bullet? Oh yeah, it depends on what. Oh, look at this. It's like the dude, um, it's, like, it's like the Boston. What? Oh, they bought. Did a they bunch buy of them. Boston they Dynamics? Told, they did for sure. What? Boston. You think? You think they Boston, sold out to China? You think they give up? Huh? <laughs> They're called Boston. It's like Beijing Dynamics they now. They don't give a fuck. fuck. They sold the plans, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's Beijing Dynamics all day. No way. Some of that robot shit's fucking weird. They're doing backflips and shit. Like, have you seen the 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 Boston Dynamics? Like, the like some of the new shit. It's fucking freaky. Yeah, like motherfuckers can run, jump. Like, it's gonna get weird soon for wow. sure. Wow, holy shit! So this has a gun attached to it. Uh, yeah, that's a couple. Not, it looks like that's some not, Metal Gear Solid shit, bro. That's not fucking creepy. Wow, Fuck. Metal Gear Solid's sick, dude. They're huge in Metal Gear Solid, though. 
And they're called Metal This Gears. is the Terminator, bro. Like, that ass. Yeah, definitely. Do you think Man, we're going to live through the even... Terminator? Like, you think that's going to happen? Like, AI and shit? Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, like maybe if towards that... the tail end of our... Fuck. It's getting Ooh, sketchy. You know goodness, what I mean? Because it's like way. technology scales rapidly. Look at that thing, dude. What the fuck? And why is this such a dog shit black and white video? What is this? It's like a secret. Good test. What is huh. this horrible fucking video, too? Can we get some HD footage? Interesting. Fuck. This is crazy. 20 to 30% Palantir chance Palantir Technology of CEO Alex Karp said he sees a 20 to 30% chance of nuclear war. <laughs> There's some crazy shit going on in the world right now. We live in a fucking crazy time. Insane bro. stuff. I think the United States just placed like a half a billion dollar order for some like anti-nuclear like aid shit half like a billion citizens. ain't shit that's what i'm saying you know right? what our you know what our million? defense bu budget is i know but we just dropped a little bag on some like anti-nuclear meds and shit oh yeah just to, like pass to out sure to we... the citizens or shit <laughs> isn't that crazy and there's like some country i'm just saying Russia, man, they said everyone to get off. out i'm not worried about fucking no anti think they'll get la first for GGs. sure right oh it's i think they they, they hold the cities it's la houston oh uh DC, san francisco for sure, dc obviously. yeah it's like there's like a like a list of states damn san know. fran that's fucked any, up any heavy heavily we'll cancel state. china if they nuke or russia if they nuke san we'll, we'll cancel them <laughs> 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 that's uh that's gnarly though that's that's terrifying though military robot dog fucked up nope fuck what if they just drop a shitload of them what if that's how they nuke us they just drop like a thousand of these in the streets where are they dropping them everywhere fuck Shit. Ah, fuck. Kanto. Wow, robot dog. <clears throat> That's crazy. I wonder if any. Wow, we need to train our real dogs to like <laughs> canines. To are cool. Canines are cool. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. <clears throat> good stuff, right there. We got always, the comment section, videos. though. This is probably uh, my favorite part of the show. So you're, you're, you're always talk I think, about it, right? I think the comments is my favorite part. You know, because we got to connect a little bit with the fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The engagement. So I feel like that's why we stream too. It's like you know the community, the, the getting back people. It's always Come dope. On. Uh -uh. So Ed, what do you got for us? I used to have quote unquote weed nap, but I could hear everything. Whoa! I used to call that a stoned moment. People used to ask me, Ed, are you cool, bro? And I always said, Yeah, bro. I'm just having a stoned moment. But he was, a, I guess, like half asleep. Yeah, wait, <laughs> like wait. his brain was on, but he wasn't. Oh. Now I'm in my 30s. I now say I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, I've definitely done that. You know, man, just resting but your Ed eyes. was so fucking he's like, high. He's like, nah, man. He's I just was... closing his eyes and he's describing <laughs> it. <as something. laughs> he's like, I just saw blackness, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> holy You're shit. crazy, Ed. You're crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm Ed. I'm just, I'm so high. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy hey, where shit. Where am I right now? <laughs> Other dimension type shit. Oh, I love it. That's King, what do you got for us? My favorite thing to do while high is taking out one of my five snakes. Mother, oh, mother, what? Mother That's insane, fucker. dude. That's insane. And just chilling with them. <laughs> what does that mean? They're just like crawling all around him and shit. He's like getting turned on. Letting them roam around you. Oh, what? He was being serious. And your room while faded makes you really appreciate them. And it makes you, and it feels like I get higher. Love the podcast, Eric and Tim. Dude, no, you honestly, are a yeah. crazy man. King, I love it. Wow. What the fuck, dude? There's ah. just five snakes roaming around your room. That's insane. I'm telling you, he's, look, I'm telling you, I described this guy in the podcast. Yeah, he's the guy with his bed, and then he got <laughs> fucking cages around his bed, that's dog. That's crazy. Do snakes beef? I guess they're all cool with each other. Nah, that's not because cool. he says he takes them out one at a time. Mm. I bet if he took them all five out, it'd be a war. Whoa, so, it's like a knot. Yeah, who it's wins? Like five oh, maybe they just be like It's like fucking. a mega snake and they just combine. <laughs> <laughs> They'll start working together. That'd be sick. Uh, Next one, Cameron Rarden. Okay, okay. Bro, when I was in high school, this kid knocked on my door at like 8 a.m. on a Saturday wanting to know if I had weed. Whoa, he asked if I could roll him a blunt what? for $10. More. Just like a random guy or your homie or... <laughs> He said, this kid, so I don't know. Yeah. Did, did you deal drugs? I don't know. We need some context. I said, sure. I split a swisher, walked in the backyard, and pulled some grass out of the ground. <laughs> He's not scared of shit out of me right there. <laughs> Filled the swisher up and rolled a pearl. I stuffed the tiniest nugs in the back and front of the blunt and it looked perfect. Nice. Wait, wait, he came wait. back later that day telling me that it was the highest he's ever been. Wait, nice. wait. Did he say put grass in it? Well, in the... Walked in the backyard, pulled some grass out the ground, filled the swisher up, and rolled a pearl. <laughs> but he put nugs in the front and back. So. Bro, what? 
There's no shot he did this, Damn. right? And later that day, he's telling me the highest he's ever been. You're an that. asshole, Cameron. Smoking. Why'd you do Whoa. that? What the fuck, Cameron? Best $10 come up ever. Good <laughs> Cameron's shit, Cameron. like, yo, I'm about to get this bread, dog. <laughs> <laughs> 8 a.m. grind. Saturday grind. You know what it is, man. Got some brunch Just after that. Just alpha running through your blood. Respect it, Cameron. You Holy know what it is. Angel, shit. what do you got for us? So the candy thing. Back in the, I think, 70s, some sick dude. Or what do you got for us? Is this, is this Angel? Angel Loeza has got a little something for us. So the candy thing. Back in the, I think, 70s, some sick dude tried to poison his own son with a pixie stick. The son shared it with one of the friends. The son and friend both passed away from the poison. What kind of that's sad That's the only is legitimate this? case with someone messing with candy like that. He poisoned his own son? What the fuck, bro? Oh, shit. That's fucking crazy. Why would he do such a thing? What the fuck? What the 70s, the huh? I wonder if Yo. that's where all the rumors started from. But like... Oh, it had to have. It had to have. Yeah, I guess that's where... Like, Damn, the pixie stick just like stuck some fentanyl in the stick or something. Uh, that's so mid. Fuck, dude. I love pixie sticks too. Fuck. It's just sugar, huh? Literally sugar. It's just like, like powdered sugar. Like, like just like, drink delicious. sugar, bro. <laughs> like, oh, this is fucking delicious. <laughs> Nom. <laughs> That's crazy. Have you ever heard that? Like people go to other countries and like, or they come back and they talk about how like crazy shitty our food is. Like all sweet everything is and how like yeah. insane. Our food is insane, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, have you checked the ingredients oh, lately? Shit. Oh, oh, you'll be shit. 31 year too, dude. Don't trip. Oh, I've, had no. to, I've had to start eating so much healthier. It's crazy. Damn, no shit. Yeah, Did you have silver teeth lost. as a child? Were you always having cavities? Um, I had some cavities. Yeah, yeah I had a bunch of cavities for sure. Dude, sugar's wild. It's it is crazy. wild. It is crazy time. Sugar is wild. <laughs> I, you don't realize how much, like, like if you look at, like, a fucking soda, mm -hmm. it's like, yo, it's got 56 grams of sugar. And you're like, mm hmm like what the f this is a little how it's got 56 grams that's like half the can bro like, like how, i'm like trying to do the fucking math in my head I'm, like even these fucking thai teas we drink man this probably got so like much 30 40 bro grams, yeah, it's crazy sure. but it's delicious Fuck, you it's know so what i mean <laughs> so good or maybe it's a little better you know some thailand or something that's what they say it's healthier right shout out to thailand right, damn i'm trying to get some crazy ass food let's Get a couple more, uh, get a couple more rips in, and then I think we're gonna close this little bad boy out, huh? Not too shabby, not too shabby of an episode, man. What are you, uh, are you smoking on the same thing, or you switch it up? I'm gonna, gonna switch it up and go. I'm gonna go to Runt's Crasher like on that. this one. I'm gonna I go to like Runt's that, Crasher, man. dude. I'm so excited for the new flavors. I'm fucking do you, pumped. Do you, uh, do you know when we're gonna release those? We by the game? end of the year. That's what I've heard. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the Fuck. end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. We only got. I mean, it's already middle of October, bro. We only got. Two fucking, and a half months this is left. Fucking insane. Fucking crazy, man. This year has been uh, insane. I feel like this was the year that like, everyone like finally get, not got over COVID because it's still happening and shit. But like, it kind of woke the world woke back up a little bit. You know, shit like really started popping off again because twenty twenty one was like cool. <sighs> yeah, shutting down shit is fucking mids. Yeah, super fucking so wild. mid. Like, I was always fuck. visiting. And I, was I like, throw, man, it I throw even events. Feel like LA. I yeah. throw events, dude. Like I, I throw parties for a living, bro. Like fuck you, don't shut down. Fuck <laughs> no. Let the people come through. Let Try the get people hot. enjoy. That's what I'm saying, man. The seshes. You got a. Uh, you got sesh coming back to Michigan soon. Is that what you said? Or do you yeah, next plan on it? next year six states. Damn. Six states. Can you can you let us in on a couple states, or are you gonna, you gonna uh, keep yeah, it under wraps? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Arizona, Colorado, um, Michigan, um, Florida, Ooh, Nevada. Those are New sick. York, and then California. I, I feel like that's seven. Is that seven? I might be. I maybe a lot. I maybe counting, it's ten. That just mm -hmm. sounds like a lot of states. There's a lot. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Maybe you attend every event, pretty much, right? Or for the most part, I remember yeah, you, said yeah. you don't attend everyone nowadays. But no, I would like to at least mm -hmm. the first one in the place. Yeah, mm -hmm. Hell, like, yeah, just to make sure. Yeah, you know, that's it. But it, it's nice. it's gonna it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna be really hard to attend all. Yeah, yeah. Is there any say you're doing it for the first time ever? Like never had a secret session there. I know New York. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New York the, on the thirtieth. That's the first time ever there. And then also we'll do. Um, we haven't done. We've only done. So it'd be easier to tell you which ones we have done. Oh, okay. we've only done um, Colorado, Michigan, and California. Mm, and that's it. Nice. Ninety percent nice. of that being California. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Shit, expanding secret sesh worldwide soon. You know, let's what go. I mean? Pine Park worldwide. That's what I'm saying. Pine Park. Ooh. But we're going. Speaking of expanding Pine Park, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. We're going man. soon. November. In a month. What's a up, month? dude? Yeah, man. Three Flights weeks. are getting booked, baby. Let's go. Cool. Three weeks, more like. Oh shit! It is. 
Yeah, beginning of uh, I know it's beginning. Of, I feel like it's beginning of October. I just got uh, my flight notifications now. for New York. Now I'm gonna have to get them for Oklahoma. Holy We're all over shit, the place, man! We're all over Oklahoma. the place. Oklahoma. Go. We're gonna do like a meet and greet thing there, right? Hell yeah! <sighs> Me, you, Optic Hex, exclusive oh, flavor Let's go. there as well. Only released in. Uh, I mean, shout out to Art Round Table. Mac Mac Mac. Mac, mac and, and cherries, cherries bro. baby. Mac Ooh. and cherries. The only mac and cherries in the state of Oklahoma. The only uh, ever because yeah. it's it's fucking our strain. Yeah. What's up, it's our Art? Shit, Let's baby. go. <laughs> Hell All right, yeah. Big cheers, homie. Cheers, man. Another great. Episode. This one's to Oklahoma. <coughs> oh man this shit tastes so good fuck runs crasher chirp crasher is what it should be called jesus flavor town <sighs> yeah. we got one piece right here that's not you so i feel like we should you know hey, maybe one more rip oh nice you're gonna hit the captain hook yeah let's the captain go. hook's always a good time let's fucking go put that flower to use baby that's what I'm saying, man. Right now, we have the new rosin coming. Um, there is still flour available, you know, mm -hmm. in in, oh, yeah. uh, in dispensary. So make sure you're out there getting it. But there's the apple fritter, the Medellin. Um, great stuff. We're smoking it now. Um, it's still fucking tasty as all hell. We just have been pumping the rosin, dude. People have been loving it. Holy Ooh shit. -wee. I'm a dabber, you know. So, I've, I mean, since the first time I came on the show, I was like, when the hell is the rosin coming? Yeah. yeah New York's got a lot of good stuff, man. Um. They've got a lot of uh, uh, California product as well, you know. Word. So like a lot of Cali brands are out there. A lot of a lot of brands that you see in the legal market here are, are there. How mm. they are, I'm not the one to answer the question. <laughs> they're there. It shows up there. <laughs> they're there. You know. Are there, are there stores in New York or yeah? Store? So so like there's there's stores. There's fucking bodegas that are selling. There's everybody's everybody's fucking working right. Mm -hmm. And I respect everyone's hustle. And you know, I, I hope that the social equity is represented well in New York because there, again, it's my fear here. And it's, I saw it happen. A lot of the small businesses, a lot of the people who don't have, you know, huge VC funding behind them, mm -hmm. they get left in the dust and they've been, they built the weed industry right, they've in been New York. They've been selling one. weed on the fucking street there forever. They should have an opportunity to play too, mm -hmm. especially if they're willing to create the brand and fucking, you know, take it to that next level, mm -hmm. um, which a lot of them are. So it's, it's cool to see it developing. That's why I say like the, that New York culture, I want to see it at, at the event because yeah. there are so many brands there that have been there for years and maybe they didn't know their brands until mm -hmm. now. Yeah. You know, and now, now they can develop a brand. Nice. And like They should have that chance. Yeah. That's all. Like, and there's um, <clears throat> like uh, some awesome, like uh, dispensaries there that we're working with Empire Cannabis Clubs. And they're like, it looks like an Apple store when you walk in they, already. Are like, they called clubs out there? Yeah. Like so, so there's, yeah, it's a, it's a club. So it's like a membership based uh, oh, dispensary. Okay. It's Ooh. like a monthly membership there. Nice. Um, and you need to get in, like even shop. Yeah. You need to get in mm. there. And like, they have everything, bro. Like they, they're amazing. And they're, they're actually a sponsor at, at our New York event. So they'll Sweet. be there. They're going to be giving away tons of samples and stuff. Like it's yeah. going to be a fucking dope time. We're not going to yeah. sell a single thing at the event. Oh, cool. We're going to give away fuck tons of weed to people. Ooh. Like we're going to hook people up. It's going to be dope. Damn, that's a big, gonna big be shout out to Empire, man. It's going to be dope. I'm yeah. So pumped. Damn, that sounds awesome. <coughs> Hell yeah. And multiple in New York next year, you feeling as well? So oh, yeah. A chance. Is this <clears> one <throat> for NFT holders only? Uh, right? NFT holders. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So that's, and dude, I mean, like, that's been going crazy too. Holy shit. Nice. Let's really? go. Hey, the NFTs are The back, lifetime baby. membership, man. Yeah. Lifetime you get to membership. go to every single one. It's I mean, insane. shit, it's already worth it after. I mean, a normal, a normal ticket is like anywhere from 25 to 45 bucks to our event. Mm -hmm. The NFT is. I mean, on give or take a day, it's seventy five to one hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. No brainer. I threw going this, to more than this year. We at the end of the year, we'll throw ten events. Nice, like just for this, just for the, just for this calendar year. Wow, nice, nice. Like what the fuck? And next year, what'd you say? It's forty eight. Get your NFT before they're gone. Like, Damn, bro. compared to ten, that's so crazy. I feel like there was a lot this year too. Like I feel like it's gonna be yeah. insane next year. Holy shit! I'm ready that's to have a heart be attack. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Take a cheers to that. Cheers to hard work. Let's cheers go. To expansion, growth. Let's go. Big cheers to Pine Park after dark. <coughs> Ooh. This one's a chugger. Yellow. Small. Yeah. Ah. Ah, yellow walled. <laughs>
That was a rough one. That was a rough one. One of the ones. That was a good one. way to end it, though. I'll tell you that. Good way to end the show, man. Fuck. Just a big takeaway from this one. I just hope weed becomes decriminalized soon, you know? Me That's as well. That's like my main... I'll take that. ...main thing that I'm thinking about Reschedule right now. it. Get some more research on it. Decrim it. Let's go. Ooh, that's the biggest part I even feel like we talk about. You know, big research coming soon. Okay. I'll do the research for him. Fuck it. I'll smoke it all. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> that's going to be a fine park after dark episode 14. You got anything uh, to say? Man, Tim episode 14. Be- holy shit. Thank you to everybody that's been watching this uh, or listening on Spotify because you can listen to it there or on Apple Podcasts. This has been insane. It's literally uh, been 14 episodes little over a quarter of a year and it's been extremely fun it's been exciting the community that we're building is huge man like shout out to every single one of you guys yes sir y'all have a good one man make sure to stay safe stay high stay cool and i'll see you on the next episode